Hi guys. This is D Igoratech. Today, we are going to download and install GNS3 VM within VMware Workstation Pro. Again, you need to understand the two software components of GNS3. First is the GNS3 client which we installed in Windows 11 in the previous video. Second, is the GNS3 VM which we are going to install within VMware Workstation Pro in this video. Let's proceed. Open your web browser and go to gns3.com. Click on free download. In the previous video, we have installed the GNS3 client version 2.2.22. This is very important. We need to install the same version of GNS3 VM. Scroll down and click for download the GNS3 VM. We have to download and install version 2.2.22 as well. We will choose the VMware Workstation and Fusion. Click download. Wait for it to download the file. Let's now check the downloaded file. The file is compressed so we have to extract it first. Now, you can see the versions are the same, they are both version 2.2.22. They must be in the same version to avoid errors. Open the folder and you can see it's a .ova file but it's not recognized yet. We need to install VMware Workstation Pro to open the file. To do this, open your web browser and go to VMware.com. Click on Workspace. Choose Workstation Pro. Scroll down, we will choose Try Workstation 16 Pro. Click on Download. Scroll down again, we have two options, Workstation 16 Pro for Windows and Workstation Pro for Linux. In my case, my operating system is Windows 11 so I will choose Workstation 16 Pro for Windows. Click on Download now. The file is approximately 621 megabytes. Let's now check the downloaded file. You can see the version is 16.1. Double click on it to install. Click Next. You can read the license agreement. Check the box to accept then click next. We'll leave the location to default folder, click next. We don't need to check for product updates on startup and adjoin the VMware customer experience. Click next. We will create shortcut on desktop and startup menu so just click next. Click install to proceed. While installing the application, we will check the network adapter settings. You can simply click on search. Type ncpa.cpl then hit enter. The VMware will automatically install additional adapters so don't be surprised if you see additional network adapters. You can see the shortcut application created on desktop. Now you can see the status is installing virtual network adapters. Notice these additional virtual adapters added. We have four network virtual adapters that has been added. Click finish. Let's now run the VMware Workstation Pro. In this window, you can enter your license key if you have one. I don't have a license key so I will choose the second option. I want to try VMware Workstation 16 for 30 days. Click continue. Click finish. You can see that the evaluation period ends in 30 days. You have option to get a license or enter a license key. You can see the version which is version 16 Pro. To check the exact application version, go to help, select about VMware Workstation. You can see the exact application version which is 16.1 and also the build version. Status is evaluation which is 30 days. You can see the expiration date. After it expires. You can no longer use the application, but, you can reinstall the application to get another 30 days. 
Let's now import the GNS3 VM. Click on open a virtual machine. Locate the downloaded file. Select the GNS3 VM OVA file. Click on it then click open. Click import. It will now import the GNS3 VM into VMware Workstation Pro. In this window, you will see the default setting. But, you don't change the settings from here. You will change the settings like the CPU and RAM within the GNS3. Let's shut down the VMware Workstation and run the GNS3 application. Again, every time you run the GNS3 you have to wait until the server summary turns to green. At the moment you will notice that only one server is currently running. Now, go to Edit, Preferences. Under Server, this is the one currently running that you can see on the server summary. Go to GNS3 VM. Enable the GNS3 VM. You will notice that the VMware Workstation player is recommended. Click on it to check other options. The GNS3 VM will be automatically added, if you don't see it you can simply click on refresh. This is where you specify the amount of RAM and CPUs you want to allocate for GNS3 VM. We will get back to this afterwards. You can choose action when closing the GNS3. Do you want to keep the GNS3 VM running? Suspend the GNS3 VM or stop the GNS3 VM? Let's leave it as default. Now click on OK. You will notice that the GNS3 VM is starting. Since we already enabled the GNS3 VM, this means, every time we run the GNS3 it will automatically run the VMware Workstation Pro. Let's wait for the GNS3 VM to finish the startup process. In this window, you can see the GNS3 server version which is 2.2.22. It also shows that you can launch through Web UI by using the GNS3 IP address. This is very important. Make sure that the KVM support available is true. If it's false, do these steps. Right click on the GNS3 VM. Settings. Under processors. You need to check the virtualize Intel VTX or AMD VRVI. You also need to enable the virtualization on your BIOS. To do this, restart your computer and go to your BIOS settings. Enable the virtualization technology. Now, save the changes and restart the computer. Let's launch the GNS3 application again. Wait for it to finish the startup process. Under the server's summary you should see two servers which is the Windows local server and the GNS3 VM. If you encountered some issue, or one of the servers is red and it won't turn to green. You need to double check or do the following steps. First, make sure that the virtualization is enabled in your BIOS, and in the VMware workstation. Second, restart the GNS3. If still doesn't work, proceed to the next step. Restart the computer or laptop. Lastly, in most cases it's been blocked by the firewall so make sure to permit and exclude from your antivirus and firewall. Now, let's allocate the RAM and processor for the GNS3. But first, let's check the current RAM and processor of the VMware workstation. Right click on GNS3 VM. Settings. 
you can see that the allocated memory is 2 GB and the processor is only 1. Again, you don't change the CPU and RAM from this VMware workstation. You will do that on the GNS3. Open GNS3. Go to Edit, Preferences. GNS3 VM. Under Allocate vCPUs and RAM. We will edit the settings. CPU would be 2 cores since this laptop has 4 cores. Let's allocate 4 GB of RAM since it has 8 GB. The remaining will run my Windows operating system. Again, the process depends on the CPU and RAM you allocate. Basically, the higher the better the performance. Once done, click on OK. Now, the GNS3 will automatically reboot to apply the changes. The GNS3 and VMware workstation will start with the new settings. Now that it's already started, let's check the VMware workstation RAM and processor. You will notice that the CPU and RAM has been automatically adjusted. Let's perform some tests to verify that the installation was successful. We're going to create a very simple topology. Go to File, New Blank Project. We will give it a name of my project. Before you click OK, notice that the title will be changed to the project name. You can check my other videos on how to install FortiGate, Cisco and Juniper images on GNS3. But for now we will use the built-in appliances. We will add a switch. Go to Browse Switches then drag Ethernet switch to the topology. You will be asked to choose a server. It is recommended that you run topologies on the GNS3 VM. Now we're going to add VPCS. Go to Browse End Devices then drag to VPCS. You must choose Server to GNS3 VM. Click and drag to reposition the device. Now, click on Add a Link. Click on PC1 then click on the switch to add a link. Click on the switch then click PC2 to connect both devices. Now, let's change the symbols, we did this in the previous video so we'll do it quick. Right click on the device then select change symbol. Let's use Affinity Circle Blue for the VPCS. Select the symbol you want then click OK. Same goes with the other VPCS. Let's proceed to the switch. We will choose Affinity Circle Blue as well. You can show the interface labels. To turn on selected device, right click on it then click start. But to start the topology click on the start button. Select yes to start all devices. You will notice that the nodes will turn to green. It means, it's already running. Let's open a console for all devices. We only see one PC so let's restart the console again. If you encounter this error then simply restart the console. We can now see PC1 and PC2. Let's now set IP address for both PC. For PC1 we will give the IP address 10.0.0.1 with slash 24 subnet mask. Checking for duplicate IP. For PC2 we will give the IP address 10.0.0.2 with the same subnet mask. 
Once you set the IP address of both device then you should be able to ping each other. Let's test ping from PC1 to PC2. Success. Ping PC1 from PC2. Success. Again, for the GNS3, we have to save the configuration. It will not automatically save your configuration. Since you already installed GNS3 VM then you can check my playlist, or my other videos on how to install FortiGate, Cisco, Juniper appliances with free download links. To stop the topology, click on stop all nodes. You will be asked if you want to stop all devices, click on yes. Now, if you close the GNS3 then also the VMware workstation and the GNS3 VM will be automatically closed as what we configured. Well, that's all for today's demonstration and I really hope you like this video. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click on the notification bell for more amazing tutorials, thank you and see you in the next video.